Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass. Now don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of the iPhone 6. I like iOS, I also like the app ecosystem and the actual phone itself isn't too bad either. However, I'm still a Google diehard really and I want to use all of my Google services on my iPhone. So today what I'm going to be doing is giving you 4 tips to be able to use all of your Google services like Gmail, Photos, Calendar and Google Drive all on your iPhone. So let's take a look. Okay guys, so first thing you want to do is get rid of any Apple applications that you know that you're not going to use, like Stocks, iTunes, Game Center, FaceTime, the podcast application, the Apple Watch application. There's a lot of applications on here that you may not actually want to use at all. So the best thing to do is just put them all into one or two separate folders and move them away from your home screen because your home screen is going to be where you're going to have all of your Google applications once everything's all done and downloaded. Next up, we want to download all of the Google applications that we think we're going to be using. So for me, that's all the essentials like Gmail, Google Drive, Google Maps, and Chrome because it's a lot better than Safari in my opinion. Once you've got all of your applications downloaded, they're going to fill up your home screen. Now the best way to find all of the Google Apps is actually to just search for one of them, go to related applications, and then they're all going to appear under one list under Google Incorporated. Now I'm not a huge fan of passwords, so for instance whenever I restore a phone and I reinstall Facebook or Instagram, I always have to reset my passwords because I kind of forget them. Now the great thing about the Google applications on the iPhone is once you log in with just one application, everything is then going to be able to log in without you having to re-enter your email and password. So as you can see here what I'm doing now is just loading the Google application or the Google Now application on the iPhone and then once everything's done and everything's all downloaded and I've agreed to all the terms and conditions and things. I can then just jump into another Google application and everything is going to just load up and it's going to find my profile really easily. So as you can see here this application has now all loaded and everything is now all done. So what I'm now going to do is just head into another application. So I think I'll just go into Google Plus and obviously there is going to be a quick startup screen but once you get past that and everything loads you can see that it just signs you in automatically with no problems whatsoever. Now with something like the Hangouts application it's not necessarily that simple because you do need to verify your mobile number because if you're going to be using SMS within Hangouts and needs to know who you are. So apart from that though, you're pretty much all set and ready to go and then you can start logging into all of your other applications like YouTube, Calendar and then you're all set up and you don't need to worry about entering your password over and over again. Let's just say that you're the person that's heavily in the Apple ecosystem, however your emails are still done through Google. Well obviously there is a built-in mail client within the actual iPhone itself, so all you need to do is go into the settings, go down to where it says mail, contacts and calendars and then click on add an account. Now as you can see here you've got a lot of things from Microsoft Exchange to Yahoo and also Gmail. So all you then need to do is just log in with your email address and password and then once you've done that it's just going to ask you to verify some things so that iOS can get access to certain things. So for instance your calendar and also your emails and contacts and then once you've done that you're going to be granted with a list. Now on this list is things that this is actually going to allow you to access. So for me it's got mail, contacts, calendars and also notes. Now I'm going to be using Gmail and also Google Calendar so the only thing that I really need is the contact side of things. So again, once you've done that and then you've clicked on done, once you then exit out of the settings and for instance for me go into my contacts, you can see that all my contacts are synced over and ready to go without any hassle whatsoever. And that's pretty much going to do it guys. Like I say, it is very simple to use all of Google's services on an iPhone and there's actually a ton of different applications, some of which actually look a little bit better than what they do on Android and they work a little bit faster. Now if you guys have got any questions about how to use Google on any other device like this, then be sure to leave it in the comments section down below or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Now a lot of you out there at the moment have been saying about the lack of Android videos on the channel, so I'm going to be doing a bunch more Android videos very soon including some icon packs and launches and also some games so be sure to hit the subscribe button to get more content to do with Android and also iOS. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.